Hey guys, welcome back to Chicken Squad. I'm your host, The Chicken. Yes, that is Code Chicken in the shop. Do appreciate it if you choose to support. Um, take a second, guys, to subscribe to the channel if you want to stay up to date on everything out of Squad Busters. Today, guys, we're going to be going over the two most important tips for new players. So we're going to go ahead and squad up. And tip number one is the most important thing to do in the regardless of what game mode you're playing, what characters you're using, what troops you have, what modifiers they are, what items you have, what pulls you get, if you get a mega, if you don't, right out of the gates. The most important thing to do is build your team at the very beginning of the match. I see a lot of new players making this mistake where they go and they start chasing each other around or one guy took out you know, one of their characters and then they get upset or whatever, you just really want to take the guy down and it doesn't work and you're not having a good time and you keep losing, you don't know why. That's the biggest thing. Focus on your team at the beginning of the game. Don't focus on gems, don't focus on coins, don't focus on none of that. The only thing that matters, the only thing that matters is building up a very strong team. So how do you do that, okay? That, that's a great thing to say, but how do you actually go about doing that? And the best thing is, you wanna get a good mix of all of the troops. I mean, it's a fairly balanced game in terms of troop selection, right? Um, basically what you want to focus on is you want to have a good mixture of HP, a good mixture of damage, and a good mixture of um, resource type troops, right? Let's go here. Now this guy took me down, so I'm going to do the exact opposite of what I just said, and I'm going to angrily take him down. And I just wasted all my troops doing that, so that was totally unnecessary. Now let's go Hoggy. And I have no Gregs left. Okay, okay. So now we're just going all offense. So we did kind of get a good start here. Um, oh, no, we still have a Greg. We still have a Greg. Let's get these trees. So Greg at level 3 with the stars, he gets so much loot from the trees. It's crazy. It's so worth having him. Um, all right, let's open this up. Let's go Bia. I do believe that Bia, I made that video the other day, um, is she too strong? I really think she's one of the best ones in the game, which is kind of crazy because you wouldn't really think that normally. Um, but she's such a strong support troop that does so much damage. Oh, we got an El Tigre. Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, this changes everything. All right, so tip number two for new players is not only is it important to, um, to uh, farm your units at the beginning, you also want to make sure that you're attacking towards the end. Now, this isn't necessarily always the case, but for the most part, you know, you're going to have to attack people at some point, and you want to make sure that you're doing that at the right time. The right time is at the end of the game. It's not at the beginning, and it's not in the middle, you know, for the most part. Come on, Greggy. It's usually at the end. And what I like to do is I like to focus, you know, really on um, team building, for the most part, and then focus on, uh, you know, if, if we can take down some players, great. If not, it's not the end of the world. So, we're in the final stretch here. We gotta bring it home. Let's go Goblin, get some more coins. Let's take you down. We're not quite as strong as I'd like to be at the very end, and a lot of our troops are kind of lacking in health. So, let's see if we can Take some of these guys down real quick, like. Take this cannon down. There we go, we're moving, we're moving. Uh, we'll go with another Bia. Okay, we got some bees. Youch. Let's use a fusion key. We're gonna go with a witch. Okay, okay, looking good, looking good. See, this is why you wanna fight late. This is why you want to fight late. Let's add a chest. Barb King. Barb King is a great add at the very end, too, because uh, especially if you've lost a couple matches. Um, if you lost a couple matches, he can really boost that HP just by himself and give you a fighting chance to, uh, to survive into the next match, which can be really nice. Um, yeah, fourth place. Not the greatest finish. Not the greatest finish, but that's the two best tips, guys. That's the two best tips. Build your team and fight late. And I see, I know it's a very basic thing, but a lot of people make that mistake. 
And if you don't know that, you're not going to have a good time playing Squad Busters, and you're not going to enjoy the game. We got some evolutions to take care of. Let's get uh, Primo done first. Boom. That's a super evolution. Pretty cool. And who do we got next? I think we have two of them to do, I thought. Let's go squad. Yeah, we got Colt to do as well, which is going to be a sweet one. And boom. So Bulletstorm deals much more damage. So yeah, upgrading the, uh, getting those evolutions really makes a big difference. So there we go. That is done. We got some stuff to collect here. Got some guards busted. Uh, whoops. Okay, very good. We got some books. Close to closing in on that next uh, squad journey. One more unlock would uh, would do it for us. We'll see if we can get that. Whoops. Let's get uh, let's get bow opened up. Um, do we want to buy any here? Definitely the archer queen. Let's go. Uh, new event. What is this? Oh, the Shrink Spell. I don't know about the Shrink Spell. I feel like it's not as strong as some of the other ones, so... Alright, what do we got? Traitor, Shelly, Barbarian, El Primo, and Chicken. That's not a bad lineup. That's not a bad lineup. I've definitely seen worse ones, so... Um, you guys let me know in the comments what you would say are your best tips for new players for Squad Busters. That's kind of the goal of this video, is to help out uh, new people playing the game. You know... The worst thing you can do in Squad Busters is just run around aimlessly and, like, try to kill people, try to, like, you know, and just play, like, an NPC where you're just, like, attacking people when they get close and then just unlocking stuff when it's there. Um, yeah, it doesn't really make sense. So, we're going to start off with Primo, which is not really what we want to start off with because he doesn't have... He doesn't do any damage, and we need coins. And he's going to take a long time, but let's open up that. And let's go back here. At least Primo will keep us relatively safe, so then it'll get easy from there. Okay. Take out this bomber or wall breaker, whatever your preference. Uh, let's go Nita. We got a lot of HP. This is the opposite of what we want to start with. You don't want to start with HP, you want to start with resource troops. Okay, very good. Let's open that up. And. We'll go with Shelly for now, because I just need that damage. And this is how I like to do it, is just kind of take down everything in your path, um, like monsters, resources, that kind of thing, in order to get your chest at the beginning. Avoid things like other players, avoid things like getting in unnec unnecessary battles that you don't need. Um, there we go. Let's go, let's go Shelly again. Okay, not the greatest start. We're kind of slow here, but we are building up a good team, which is all that matters. Especially with these pinata ones. I mean, you can basically just run around, farm the pinatas, and then away you go. Um, okay, let's go trader. So we do need some more gems if we're going to play this way, kind of like the farming strategy that we did the other day. Uh, let's go barbarian. A little more damage. we got to get some coins here. Uh, get some hidden coins. The hidden coins are worth getting because they always pop up in quests too. So let's just keep it moving. Keep it moving. There we go. Okay. This will be close. Get our chest. Uh, let's go trade her again. Okay, I don't want to fight, but I will throw this uh, this spell here. Ah, we just missed him. Okay, this guy we might actually be able to take advantage of. He's standing in those bushes. Okay, we're kind of stuck between two, which is not where we want to be. Okay, let's just give up on fighting them. If we go back to focusing on chests. And we got a minute left. A minute and a bit left. So we still got time, we still got time. Yeah, you see the trader's really helping out with those extra gems. Um, this is about to open up those, so let's go over here. That was the wrong use of a bomb. Let's go dynamite, extra damage. We got a crappy old cannon, we'll throw it down. Let's see. Oh no, oh no, we gotta get out of here guys. I got nowhere to go. 
Backwards, I'm dying. Forwards, I'm dying. We're just straight dying. We got a traitor left. <laughs> oh my god. We got a traitor left. Well, now we got two traitors. Now we got two traitors. No! <laughs> no! Oh, that was brutal. That was brutal. We got busted there pretty badly, guys. Um, it happens. It happens. It's not always perfect. That was one of my worst finishes ever. Of course, it's in video. So, appreciate you guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe. Catch the next one. Check it out. Back, back.